Hi, welcome back. Well, today I'm going to try something I haven't tried before. I'm going to try to bend some plexiglass in my side bender to use it as a side template um, for either putting, marking it and putting in sound ports or possibly mounting it, uh, marking it also for rib rest and arm rest. Um, my understanding is it's from 275 it starts to soften enough to bend it um, and I believe it's over 325 or 345 I have to check that that's you don't want to do that because it starts to put off fumes uh, which could be explosive um, so I'm going to try to get it up to 300 and see if it'll, it'll bend at 300 with my uh, with my regular bending setup so let's start, put on variable there, I'll see when the blankets get up to around 300 and we'll go from there. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, we're up to uh, 167. Still feels uh, stiff. And I want to take this slow, so because I never did this before, so I'll let it go up. I got two blankets on there, one in the top. They suggested anything over an eighth an inch that uh, you heat both sides. Looks as if this side's beginning to get softened. We're at 198. Let me crank out a little bit more in there. Get the temperature up. You can see it drooping over there. That's where it's a 215 now. I'm going to take that pin off of there. Back. See if I can't start to 222. See if I run these calls down a little. I made this call a little big, but two thirty two. Feels pretty soft in the front now. Yeah, it might be like bending uh, some walnut. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. At 251. I saw a little bit of smoke. It could be, that might be the wood now. I'll bend her over. Remove the thermocouple wire. Let me 
me check this front here. I'm going to need to move that forward. stuff up then I'll just let that cool and it should set pretty interesting I uh, I'm pretty interested in this I got some ideas going around as to how I could use that all right I'll get well get back to you later I got a damp washcloth. I'm going to see if I can't cool things down a little bit to set it. Like bending uh, PVC pipe, we always cool it down with wet rags. See if I can't, if it starts to spring back in, if I take this off. Like it might have had a little spring back yeah, to it. I'm going to reheat it. I'm reheating it again because when I started to take the thing off, I had a little bit of a spring back coming out of the ends. And I'm thinking, well, let me let me heat it up. I'm going to take it all the way up to the 300 and then I'm going to unplug it and let it cool slow then. 